All right, so uh, I had a buddy over for uh, several hours and we got some work done. Actually, he got some work done. Really, I, I just bugged the shit out of him, truthfully. Um, so, uh, got some electrical work done. Things are finally starting to gel as far as the projects. Uh, part of the deal with, uh, with, with having a Vagabond Drifter is it just kind of encourages you to have more and more and more stuff, which is awesome. Um, but at the same time, it, it requires quite a bit of planning. So um, I, uh, I started planning a project for, for putting in um, uh, this panel right here, this switch panel. And this switch switch panel is going to, you know, power all the a bunch of the different accessories, or at least give me the ability to turn things on and off, and that's a great thing. Yeah, that kid's got a nice little E30, but he loves listening to his music a little too loud. Uh, so, anyways, um, that panel, uh, I've got a bunch of switches in there. I've got some some USB and a uh, and like a uh, car charger kind of thing, and uh, and so. We just wired in the um, the water pump, so I'm gonna walk in into the drifter here now and show you. So on the back side here is there's a water pump right there. So this wiring going into this panel here, that wiring is actually temporary. Um, there's still more to to do for the for the wiring. So this is a Busman uh, relay fuse panel. Um, that's going to be kind of controlling a bunch, bunch of the accessories. In here is the uh, water storage tank. That's actually going to be changing to a different type of water storage tank. You can see that there's uh, pre-drilled uh, uh, accessory mounting points down there. And that actually is, is designed to mount a front runner water storage tank, which is what I'm going to end up with here soon. So... Um, so we've got that panel down there and we've got this panel down here and then over here on this panel what's going to end up happening is uh, I'm going to put in some type of uh, bulkhead connector here and that's going to uh, allow the ground and the uh, switch power to go to some of the other accessories that will be in here. Uh, it'll, it'll power the heater It'll power the uh, dual air compressor setup that's going to be underneath the bed here um, and a few other accessories. So the goal is, is to, if I need to remove the shell, it's um, unplug a plug here, unplug a plug there, and then uh, this here is on an Anderson plug and, you know, just unplug that as well. So uh, technically the camper shell should be able to be removed with just three plugs uh, and yeah so that's that's the idea um, you can see this is a there's just a little water spigot right here um, this is a uh, a pretty straightforward high pressure uh, low volume pump so, works great. And you can hear the pump actuating um, based upon me just triggering it. So, I'm pretty happy with the way things are working. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a bit of pressure. You can see the distance from the truck to where it was hidden. So, uh, washing dishes, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, things look good. Things are starting to come together. Uh, hopefully that fridge comes comes uh, sometime this week and I get that thing in and then I won't be rocking the peasant's chest anymore. So, right on guys. Hope you're having a good day.